agonizing. It was agonizing. Oh. I had a lot of comp contemplative moments. Don't take it lightly how much workload it is. My masters was generally one of the most difficult things I've ever done. So to begin with, what I'm actually doing is a masters, um, specifically an MRES, which stands for a Master of Research in Translational Cancer Medicine. Not only did it challenge me academically, so what I've been doing in the last couple of hours since I actually got to the lab is finishing off the last of my manuscript, which I finished and I uploaded and oh my god, I can't believe it's done. It's out of the way. And as soon as I submitted it, I thought, you know what, I really want to have a paper copy just for myself. So I went to the library and I printed off a copy of everything I've produced for this year. It also challenged me physically. Hey everyone, so it's slightly later on in the same day that I filmed the intro to this video and I think it's around five o'clock, half five, something like that. And I am absolutely exhausted. Honestly, all of today while I was at the labs and doing the experiments that I was doing, I felt like hungover and even now I've just been lying here just I ate some food to make myself feel a bit more human and I'm just watching a a podcast of Casey Neistat with uh, being interviewed by somebody I'm not sure what it is but I'll link it below and it just made me want to pick up my camera and vlog a little and as I said at the start of this video I want to share a bit more of like the realities of what I get up to it's not all you know running around and doing cool experiments and taking blood a lot of it is, you know, days like this where I'm just so tired and I have got like a billion things to do but all I can do is just rest until, you know, the food kicks in or something. It also challenged me emotionally and spiritually and in any other kind of form of a challenge that you can think of. It was hard, okay, it's what I'm trying to say, it was difficult, it was it was stressful, I loved it, but it was, mm, I had a lot of contemplative moments. Why are the kids screaming outside my door? I have to say the interesting thing about my masters was that not only did I learn so much about science and about the academic side and about the practical side of science, but I also learned so much about politics, the politics of working in a lab, the politics of being a researcher, the politics of trying to secure funding and having labs that have a lot of funding and having labs that are, do not have a lot of funding and all of these like maybe squabbles and all the things that happen within a lab environment. It was all very educational. I should also say that I should have mentioned this earlier. If you guys are new and you aren't sure what I studied, I studied Translational Cancer Medicine at King's College London and the degree itself was an MRES, which is a Master of Research. It consisted of 12 months of lab work and in this 12 months I had to produce two um, projects because I did two six month rotations and also a 5,000 word essay on the fundamentals of translational research. It was, it was fun. It was, it was agonizing. It was agonizing fun. But guess what? Okay, so as I said, I finished my masters and I got the results for them like a few days ago and I got a distinction. And I'm just so happy that all those hard, you know, uh, days and evenings and long hours just, you know, paid off. Honestly, I was so relieved and so happy, mostly relieved. And as I said, I do not, say this lightly when I say that it really was one of the most difficult things that I did but I'm so grateful for my experiences and for everything I've learned and you know in a weird way when I look back I feel like even the most difficult things were things that have made me the person I am today and I'd like to think that I have improved in many aspects since before doing the masters. Would I recommend it to other people? Absolutely but don't take it lightly how much workload it is. It's funny because I know people who are doing the course now and before they started, during the time that I was doing mine, they were, they were kind of saying things like, oh, well, you know, how hard can it be? And um, is it really that bad? Uh, like, and they were questioning me, like, are you, are you, do you have good time management skills? Like, is this why you're so stretched for time? And it's funny because those same people, I feel, are having the realization that, oh my God, like this is hard and this requires a lot more time and energy than I thought. Also something else I want to say is that I was actually documenting my 
process of going through this research project, at least parts of it. So I do have a playlist of vlogs down below and I do kind of want to say a little thank you to you guys for getting me through with all of your sweet comments. But as they say, as one chapter comes to an end, another one begins. And now I'm employed by KCL and I am working as a research technician and it's awesome and I'm a month in, ow I just banged my elbow, I'm a month in and I'm working partly on an ovarian clinical trial, phase one clinical trial and also doing some biobanking for melanoma and I will make more videos about that specifically because I know some of you guys have asked me about it and I was over the moon when I got this job because it meant to get to stay at KCL and I've actually made a vlog about my first day, again will be linked below, go check it out if you're interested and I will have to say that my masters definitely did um, set me up to get a job like this and it really did um, prep me. And not, not only me but out of the people who were on my course um, with the exception of the three clinicians who went back to India um, everybody else got PhDs or jobs. I think with the exception of maybe one person who is still looking for jobs. But I think when I last spoke to him he said, he said that he took a break from applying so gotta say it has been a master that has helped all of us get to our next step which is great. So I guess to finish up I just want to say a little note to those of you who are still studying be it A levels or GCSEs or university hang in there I know it's tough but if I can get through it I'm sure you can too. I honestly feel like I'm a, a transitional cancer medicine MRES survivor okay like I've got like a white flag waving I, I survived. So yeah that is my situation. I hope you enjoyed this video my lovelies, do give it a thumbs up if you did because that would be amazing and it would help me out a lot. Also if you're new make sure to subscribe and hang around and to those of you who have always been here, my beautiful subscribers, make sure to hit that little bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a video. Take care and I'll see you later.